I was thinking maybe Belichick kind of whispered in his ear because you know <laughs> Eric Mangini was, I think he was defense coordinator over there at one point. Yeah. And that's when that whole spy gate was going on. Yeah. So I think he was whispering in Chip Kelly's ear saying, you know what? Get rid of the snitch. Uh, are you listening? Niners! <laughs> Have you been checking out the 49er hires? these past few days i know that you have kind of questionable aren't they i'm not gonna be the whiny dude today besides chip kelly could be a genius and why do i say that because chip kelly is strange the man is strange okay but i mean that in a very positive fashion you see i have been investigating chip kelly hardcore since they named him our coach, I want to know all about this Chip Kelly. We've seen him from afar down through the last few years, but I didn't take him that serious because I didn't think in my wildest imaginations, would Chip Kelly be my coach? Are you kidding me? Chip Kelly, they say all his life is about is football. He has no hobbies. There are no women in his life. Okay, that's okay. Uh, you know what? Even if he had, how do you not like women? Or if you like guys, how do you not have a guy friend? Something, man, come on. Well, I found out about that. Chip Kelly was married back in the 90s. From 1992 to 1999, he was married to a Jennifer Jenkins. Ah, uh -huh. you know about that? Check that out further when you get a chance. They were married for that period, but you knew from beginning <laughs> that was doomed. Chip Kelly, of course, is married already to football. Miss Jenkins became nothing more than a mistress, which of course, the relationship crashed and burned because you and I both know football, right? You got all day Sunday, Sunday night, Monday night football, Thursday night football, there is that stretch of the season where, as ladies call it, football widows. <laughs> so it was doomed from the beginning. There's no way Chip was going to stay married. Miss Jenkins says, of course, that was never an issue. That was not why they got divorced, but they did. And they're still good friends right now. My point being is Chip Kelly is not all the way a freak. But we're talking about a man whose life orbits around football and his dog. It's one of the reasons why when people accuse Chip Kelly of being a racist or he just can't really relate to people, I think that may be not true. And why do I say that? Because just as many white guys may have a problem with Chip Kelly as black guys, only a white guy can't pull the race card. People need to know Chip Kelly's world does not extend past the borders of football. He hasn't developed any social skills. He doesn't have any. So of course he may come off wrong to people who just don't understand when you walk into the Chip Kelly world, you either accept him or you reject him or you come up with reasons to complain. I'm okay with that now because I, I think I got Chip Kelly figured out. And besides, him being strange like that could be a plus. Think about all the stars in this world that are just downright strange. Whose name comes into your mind first? Michael Jackson. Come on, Michael Jackson was the strangest man in the world. But I loved him dearly, may he rest in peace. Michael Jackson to me still is the greatest pop artist of all time. And then you got, let's go back to sports though, Jim Harbaugh. Every time you've seen Jim Harbaugh in a press conference, didn't you think something was wrong with Jim Harbaugh? Come on. There was nothing normal about Jim Harbaugh. And then, my favorite basketball coach of all time, Bobby Knight. Anybody that's ever seen Bobby Knight in action, you know he's insane. And most likely he was on medication back then. So I'm at peace with Chip Kelly being strange. But I want to talk a little bit more about the coaching changes and see how you feel about that. Check that out. Now the fam, as I dig deep down into the nation. Ooh, did I say the nation? I know, I know you're gonna call me on it. As I search the empire, <laughs> looking for more <laughs> members of our illustrious empire, I have found Mr. P-Town. 
Mr. P. What's up, Ron, bro? Good to see you, man. You know, because like this, during the off season, man, I do not like to lose connection with all the fam. So, you know, we got yeah. plenty of things to talk about between now and next season, including right now, the Chip Kelly saga. Let, anyway, let me ask you, though, how do you feel about Chip? You like Chip Kelly? Um, at first, I was a little worried because, you know, everybody was saying that, you know, his offense moves so fast that, you know, our defense is going to be on the field a lot. <laughs> and I heard that, you know, Chip Kelly's defense played three extra games they were on the field so long. So that's the other thing that I was worried about. But as far as offense, I'm excited. Wait a minute. Three extra, I haven't heard this stat. You mean at, at, at accumulation at the end of the season, instead of playing 16 games, it's like we play, our defense played 19 games? Yeah, the Eagles defense last year. Three extra games. That's a lot of extra. You know what? This is why my first question is, we just got rid of Eric Mangini. Was was that a good idea? I mean, considering the fact that Eric Mangini, we need continuity now. We don't need it. I'm thinking, you know what? Never mind my opinion. What is your feeling on that? Losing Eric Mangini. Um, when I first heard it, and seeing that Chip Kelly has ties to Bill Belichick, yeah. I was thinking maybe Belichick kind of whispered in his ear because you know <laughs> Eric Mangini was, I think he was defense coordinator over there at one point. Yeah. And that's when that whole spike gate was going on. Yeah. So I think he was whispering in Chip Kelly's ear saying, you know what? Get rid of the snitch. Ah. <laughs> you know what's so funny? Because that didn't work last year because of Tom Sula. But then again, yeah. wait a minute. Mangini's been with us for how many years? Um, I think about three years. Yeah. So I guess Harbaugh didn't want to hear it either. Yeah. Okay, because see, okay, because Mangini, what I'm concerned with is Mangini, and, and just from what you just said about the three extra games per season, with Mangini, uh -huh. the guys know him, and they can build on what Mangini, and people say, Mangini ain't a good coach, man. I said, you guys, let me tell you something about that. Mangini, first of all, came into a young roster, he lost some of his main studs, and we still weren't that bad. It was just guys learning the defensive system. So now, yeah. a new DC. How do you feel about Tarver, man? Because I understand that's the next candidate up, man. Um, I actually like Tarver. You know, yeah. the players, they actually like him. And I think he would give us some continuity. I mean, because, you know, he is uh, one of the holdovers from the old staff. So yeah. I think he would be a good fit. That's true. Yeah, but if we get a new defense coordinator, our defense is going to have to learn a new system. And there's going to be more growing pains next year. Don't know if Chip Kelly is calling him shots or not. Because if anybody knows... How to handle defense with Chip Kelly's offense, it should be Chip, right? What do you, what do you think about that? Exactly. I think Chip Kelly's going to, you know, be the main one calling the plays on offense. I think it should be. Because, you know, yeah. with Cap coming back, you know, Cap, I hope he comes back, man, because I still believe in him. And I think Chip Kelly and Cap are going to do big things next year. I sure hope so. Mr. p Town, because I can't take another season of Raider fans have already posted on several places I like to go. Hey, Rombo, I thought you said at the beginning of the year, the Raiders would go have a worse record than the 49ers. You see? Yeah, that's those Raider fans for you. They won't stop, man. One, 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 one more thing, though. Has the balance of power shifted? I was watching Carolina, and I got to tell you, Mr. P-Town, they scared me, man. I ain't going to lie about yeah. it. They look like the perfect killing machine. They had no weaknesses. Can we even begin to think we can deal with them next year? Are we are we going to be ready? The thing about Carolina is the whole thing with Carolina and you look at Cam Newton, that's what Kaepernick was supposed to be with us. <laughs> exactly. When we had our defense back in the day, we had Patrick Willis, Justin Smith, and all those guys. That's what we were supposed to be doing. But as far as Carolina, I think it's going to be at least two years before we get back to you know competing the way we used to. Yeah, so Carolina, they're a good team right now, man. I got a feeling they're going to steamroller Denver. <laughs> I mean, yeah, man. I think they're going to beat Denver, too, to be honest, because their offensive line is not all that great. It's not better than Carolina's. And then they got Peyton Manning, and, you know, he can't run. <laughs> He's just a shell of what he once was. So, yeah. <laughs> Peyton Manning's going to have to put up a great game, a better game than he's played the whole season for them to I mean, the have a chance season. in that game. Uh. Yeah. What do you see us in next year? Are we going to be plus 10 and 6? Because you know he can get a 10 and 6 out of a team. Can we get 11 and a 5? Dude, I'm saying playoffs. 
I haven't seen playoffs. At least 10 and 6. At least. It's a rough division, and 10 and 6 will probably do it. Yeah. Because uh, I don't know about the Cardinals next year. If Carson Palmer is going to be able to pull it off, his, his feelings might be so hurt, he may not be able to come back next year. Oh, man. has got to be shot. Larry Fitzgerald, yeah. it, can he put up another season like that again? I just don't. I, I, I just, Man, there's so many ifs. Can this, can this, can we? So, you know, we yeah. shall see. Yeah, I think their playoff hopes are journaling, man. I think if they don't do it next year, then it's a wrap because Carson Palmer's up in age, like Fitzgerald's up in age, and they're picking, like, what, dead last in the draft this year? So you know they ain't going to get a quarterback. <laughs> I like that part. And, and the Rams, they still don't have a quarterback. <laughs> and the Rams will always be 7-9. and nine. No matter what they yep. do, they'll be 7-9. and nine. Yeah, and that's crazy too, man, because they got a good ass defense. They got a good defense, but it's the coach. That offense, man. It's the coach. Yeah, that coach. Yeah. yeah. And Rams, I think he's only had what, like six winning seasons out of I think he's been coaching for like twenty plus years. Yeah, yeah. And Rams, if you don't like it, come say something about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. But you know, you got to give me the holler. Not a problem, man. You, you, you want me to give you three, two, one? Yeah, count me down, Rombo. Three, two, one. Niners! He does that like a champ, like a playoff champ. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. P Town, thank you, fam. 49er for Reek. Please remember this study. We will continue with the Niner Empire weekly meeting, and I hope you'll be on hand. I have already told you that I think Chip Kelly is out of his mind. Some of these coaching hires are questionable, and we still, I'm, I know you got some opinion on those hires. Let's get together this Sunday around 2 p.m. and talk about that, because here, first of all, <laughs> didn't Eric Mangini stat-wise do better than our brand new DC, Jim O'Neill? O'Neal came in at number 29 with the Cleveland Browns. Eric Mangino was at 27. Yeah. Didn't we take a step back? You know, I, this is what I'm talking about. Let's talk about it this Sunday. You can go to Facebook, a Rodbo Sports fan page. You can go in there every day anyway, but Saturday, I'll have instructions up on how you can join in on the conversation, what time we'll be getting started, and also Instagram, Twitter, Two hours before we start, there'll also be instruction there as well. <laughs> ah, Eric Mangini, much better than Vic. Oh, okay, it's a little strange, but we'll talk about it, okay? Please like if you do, share, and subscribe, and I see you on Sunday. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, this new crazy mother.